What's going on, everybody? It's Donnie, man. I just gotta make this quick video. Am I straight here? Or am I not straight? I don't think it's straight. Um, yeah, man. 138, 129. Knicks win. Pretty easy win. You know, no Randall, no Brunson. Job done. Well done. Um, bro, like the thing I've been thinking about, right? I've been thinking about how good the Knicks look without RJ. And a lot of you guys don't want to believe me when I say it. But look, man, I don't really think they need R.J. Barrett on this team, really. R whether it's the starters or not. You know, I don't think he provides enough for me to say that we need his efforts and energy in order for us to be better. I think we have, we have seriously, we have good players on this team, man. No, 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 no joke. And I think the Cavaliers know that. No, even the, even the Knicks this week are very easily capable of beating the Cavaliers. This team today is capable of beating the Cavaliers, and that's without Brunson. You know what I'm saying? And we're, most likely we're going to be without Randall. But I'm telling you, this team is good. Between OB, um, you got OB quickly, Grimes, Josh Hart, Mitchell Robinson that played today, um, Hartstein played today, a little bit of. Uh, McBride, did I say McBride already? Sims. It's 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 here. It's here now. And I think that I, personally, I don't want to wait anymore. <laughs> Every time in the stream in the chat when we mention RJ, we talk about oh well, you know, you know, you just gotta wait and I see how it plays out. I'm not. There is no reason to wait anymore. There's no reason. There's no reason to wait anymore. The Knicks don't need him. He needs the Knicks more than the Knicks need him. He'll probably be a rotation player at best in the NBA if he didn't play in 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 for the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm and I'm telling you honestly because if you look at a guy like Quinn and Grimes, for example, Quinn and Grimes can do everything RJ does better. I believe. The way the way Quinn and Grimes is getting to the hoop, right? Is what RJ tries to do and he can't do. And you would think the way RJ is built you know, you would think that RJ is able to do that maybe in a more unique way with finesse, but his finishing is not good. Quinn and Grimes is getting to the hoop whenever he wants to. He's quick like that, and he can defend, and he can shoot. Now you see why the Knicks were so high on him, even though it's taken us to the end of the season to see it, but already the, prog the progression was there. I'm telling you, RJ Barrett is in the hot seat. You don't have to believe me. That's on you, but I'm telling you, there's, there's enough here now that I can honestly say that R.J. Barrett is not required to be here, you know. You, 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 look, if, if you want to, you can say that, oh, okay, well, he's averaging, he can give you about 20 per game, but so can Grimes, so can Quickly, so can Obi. Seriously, and they and these guys, and these guys really don't start besides Grimes. You know, if Quickly and Obi are capable of doing that, and that Obi video is the next video on me, you know what I'm saying? We have guys here who can do that already better than him. Every player on this team that's not a center is better than him, you know what I'm saying, at this moment in time. So the second unit, everybody that's not a center, because I'm not going to count the centers, are honestly playing better than him. Obi, Obi casually, in 42 minutes, got 32. Crazy efficient game from him. He went 11-18 from the field, 5-12 from three, 5-5 five five from the free throw line, 3 rebounds, 6 assists. Now you're gonna start asking questions, man. You're gonna start asking questions like, "Damn, like, is this team really like that?" Hell yeah, they're like that. So now it changes the whole dynamic. I, I, I'm not sitting here saying that. Damn, I'm waiting for RJ to come back. I don't. I, to me, it doesn't matter if RJ plays or not. You know what I'm saying? Can he contribute? Yeah. Can he get to big a big shot when you need it to? He does. Yes. But do we need him? No, I don't think so. I don't. I really don't think so. I don't think we need him. I don't think we need them. And and if anything, you know, the, the two and the three position can be rotated easily between quickly, between quickly and, and, and Obi if need be. Even though usually Obi doesn't really play much of the three. In fact, quickly um Obi and, and Randall really usually don't even share the court. But if it came down to that, maybe you would have to do that. Of course, there's this scenario where you know, you're looking for trades and you're looking to trade somebody. Obi would be somebody that's probably high on people's list. But then again, if you could have Obi casually drop 32 like this, you start to question if he's the right guy to go. Maybe it should be RJ. 
I don't think people are that sold on letting Obi go, bro. I'm telling you, if anything, you keep him and you leave, you leave RJ out of it. Because if there's one player on this team who I honestly think has no business right now really being much part of the rotation besides the guys who are already out, like B. Rose and Fournier and them, it has to be RJ. Has to be RJ. It has to be him. It makes no sense for why I really would want RJ to start a lineup right now. Maybe reduce the minutes with the second unit, but uh, we're, uh, he's not required for us to win. And that's a problem. Uh, he's been here for like four years. We're still waiting to see the consistency. Well, maybe we've waited too long and look what happened. Guys that we, you know, had on the bench the whole time performing at two times a higher level than what they started already in maybe less time in w between a year, maybe two years. It's taken RJ four and a half years, and he still hasn't figured it out. But you let me know what you think in the comment section, man. It's your boy, Don. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy these videos. Appreciate all of you that joined the streams, man. We're doing streams, man. Every year, we're getting better with these streams, and I love that you guys watch them all the time, man. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. I'm out.